Welcome to the Traders Help Desk online video collection. In this video I want to go through some trades that I identified solely using the TradeStation radar screen. We also have these tools available for the multi-chart scanner and um, we do have a modified version for NinjaTrader as well. So um, this week, the beginning of the week, I wanted to look at some long-term Forex charts to see where they were going. And the first thing I did was look to the weekly and the monthlies for any bright colors because the bright colors tell me that the markets are starting to move in that direction. As you can see, the USD JPY was bright blue. So I simply looked up to the 1440 to see whether it was blue or what it was doing. As you can see, it was dark blue. Now because it was dark blue, I anticipated that the USD JPY had pulled back to the ATR. This would be normal behavior because a value of 40 should be bright blue. The fact that it was dark blue alerted me to the fact, hey, we may be at an ATR. We were at the ATR, as you can see. You can also see that we had diverging volume here. So this was one I was very interested in entering. And I did enter it uh, at the open yesterday. And as you can see, I have already taken Clipper 1. So the entry price was 79.37, and my first target was 79.91. This was a very simple, easy to recognize trade setup um, in really a market right now that is not moving very strongly. Then we can go over to the multiple div futures. Um, and this morning, as you can see, I've got all of the time frames loaded into my workspace. Now, this one is fairly easy to read once you know the indicators. So when I'm looking at this this morning and I want to trade with a trend, the most likely one that I would look at first would be the NASDAQ and it would be gold because you can see all of the time frames uh, just about with the exception of the 45 minute are red. Because this is a 35, I would anticipate seeing a magenta peak on the 45 earlier. Um, on gold, um, there could have potentially been a magenta peak on the 720 because the value is 22. Now 22 tells me it's not really trending, so it could be a magenta peak that has already played out. Okay, since uh, gold is the first one I want to look at, I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to click on the future link charts. And as you can see, it changes all of my charts to gold. Now the first chart I really want to start out with would be the gold weekly chart because I want to get an idea of what is going on. And this is one that I wrote about on the weekly. It's really been in this congestion phase since uh, October of 2011 and the top of the congestion phase is about 183070 the bottom is around 1565 it has been moving along in this congestion phase for quite a while now on Monday um, I'm sorry last week we did have a up bar that closed uh, a couple of ticks below the ATR and it prior to the up bar we've had diverging volume so this is something that I would be looking at to go back up and at least go to the ATR which at this point is 1791.90 now depending on whether it breaks that ATR or whether it bounces back down at that point whether we would go long or short that would be on the uh, weekly chart then I want to go to the daily chart and see what's happening on the daily chart and as you can see it has already flipped the ATR on the daily and it is trying to come back either to the slow moving average or to the ATR. Now this is typical price behavior um, because price cannot go up until it forms this area of support. So that is something I would be watching right now to see if it does form that support up the SMA or the ATR. 
then we can go to the 720 and see what the 720 is telling us as well and as you can see on the 720 you are coming back to the ATR and the ATR actually is at 1714.9 so I would watch today to see what happens when it comes back to this ATR because it very well could flip the ATR but I'm not seeing it right now in the volume um, it may because you've had a little bit of an increase here but I would be watching this volume bar as it made a new low when it touched the ATR then we can go down to the 180 as you can see the 180 has flipped the ATR and it has tried to come back to the SMA has not quite got there yet and right now as it stands you may have divergence but this is a very big clue that we are in congestion because you can see it is a snake bite area and let me move these out of the way so we can go down to the smaller time frames the 45 minute again you are seeing this pattern of non-movement we call it a snake bite area and it had followed the ATR yesterday and now it has broken that ATR so I would be looking probably for it to come back perhaps to this low at 1724.4 and see what the volume does when it gets to this low is it a uh, lower volume in which case we could have a spring um, just exactly what does it do when it comes back to this 45 minute low here so um, then I would go and I would look at the NASDAQ to see what's going on on the NASDAQ we have to wait a minute and let them change all of the charts now we do not want to start reading at the 45 minute again we want to start reading on the weekly to get a sense of what is going on you can see that you do have a strong downward movement and my anticipated target right here would be the SMA which is at 246561 but you do see you have increasing volume on all of the lows now that is very substantial because it means that the sellers do have a lot of power in the market the next chart I want to look at would be the daily and I use a 1440 on the NASDAQ because it does move 24 hours a day and what I would be looking at is okay where was the previous magenta peak and you can see it was uh, right at 70 the current ADX is still going up RSI is still going down you are getting very slight divergence here on the lows so this tells me that this trend is weakening or that they just may need a test for buyers so this is something that I could be watching now if we get that we would get a magenta peak here and that tells us it should pull back to the ATR pretty much like it did over here we got the magenta peak it pulls back to the ATR that is exactly the same behavior that we could see on the NASDAQ now now as it's pulling back to the ATR we want to watch this blue volume because the blue volume is volume on the highs as it is going back to the ATR you want to see diverging volume then we go down to the 720 and on the 720 the first thing that I would notice is the ATR stop is at 2613 and you still have this slight divergence here on the lows so again they may need a test for buyers it is a very 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 small blue volume bar right now building on the NASDAQ so if this holds true then the market is going to continue downwards because there are no buyers in the market then we can go down to the 180 and say okay what does the 180 say again you are seeing that it has pulled back to the ATR and it has done so on very very light volume in fact from this volume bar on this high to the current volume bar which is at the same level you have had uh, a really really strong divergence so this indicates that the price may go down 
looking at the 45 minute, the 45 minute is showing right at the current moment that there is an ATR there and there's also an SMA. So price will have to break both of these in order to continue downwards. Right now at 6.30 in the morning you have divergence on the lows but you will need to watch this because if the volume builds then they will flip the ATR and it will continue downwards. Now if you notice I have not uh, really looked at the 3 or the 12 minute. The reason for that is I do not look at the 3 and 12 minute until number 1 I know where the market is going and number 2 I see a potential trade setup. At the current moment I do not see a potential trade setup so I'm not reading those time frames.